How will you engage a student who is showing signs of boredom in your lesson? I would try to get the individual to participate a little more and try to get them excited about the lesson. If that didn't work, then I would uh, create more work for them to do so they didn't get bored with the lesson. Describe the way you would create a sense of community in your classroom. I would set the kids' desk into groups and periodic periodically rearrange them. You have to show the kids that you are you care about them and that you have a, that your class is going to be fun. Tell me about a lesson you taught and that you were really excited about and what was your student's reaction and how did you feel about it. The lesson that I recently taught to my kindergarten class was about a book that dealt with um, dump trucks. They were really into the book. They got to do um, worksheets and watch videos and draw about it and uh, play games over it. And Afterwards, it, I felt like a sign of relief, like I was, was felt good to be done with it, because at first I was so nervous um, before doing it, and then afterwards I was like, oh, that was easy and fun, I should do it again. How does your education prepare you for your ideal job? My education so far has prepared me for my ideal job because I've been able to go out into uh, two elementary schools around the campus and um, observe teachers while well, you're supposed to observe. But I've had the ch opportunity to engage with the students and um, teach activities and lead groups and just be involved with the kids, which has really prepared me for what I want to do when I grow up. What have you done outside of formal education to improve yourself? I have begun to look online for uh, lesson plans and just creative things that I can do in my classroom, as well as I have um, taken some opportunities that I've been given to teach and work with kids that wasn't in such a formal education setting, um, but it was a good opportunity for me to be involved with the kids and um, just get the experience of working with kids. Describe a personal experience that had an impact on your teaching. I had the opportunity to teach summer school at the former elementary school that I went to when I was younger. I was in the special education room and taught kindergarten through sixth grade with two other aides and two teachers. I had a little kindergarten boy that you could tell didn't have a very good home life. He was excited to come to school, didn't want to leave, and was excited with everything that we did. The last day of school came around and was getting ready to get on the bus, and he just had a meltdown. Didn't want to leave, was just so excited to be there, and it made my heart sad. What is it about teaching that makes you think you want to spend the rest of your life doing it? The thing about teaching is you get to interact with kids and um, teach them uh, everything that they need to know. And I personally love working with kids. It doesn't matter what age they are, kindergarten or sixth grade. Either way, I love working with kids. I love being around them. I love spending time with them. And I just think um, teaching is going to be the right profession for me. Give me an example of how you integrate technology into the curriculum. If I was um, going to be doing a lesson and you had to use technology, the kind of technology that I would use would be iPads. Nowadays, everybody has iPads. Every school has them. Every student has them. They're just easy to use. Um, computer labs are just as easy to use. You can use computers for students to play games on, uh, do homework on, um, watch videos on, and everything. Tell me about yourself and why you've chosen to be a teacher. I came from a very small town where everybody knows everybody. The elementary school teachers that I had when I was in elementary school are still all there to this day. I have chosen to become a teacher because my sixth grade math teacher had a great impact on my life. One day my sixth grade math teacher came up to me and told me that she knew when I grew up that I was going to become a math teacher. And that had a great influence on me and made me strive to become a math teacher. You want to work for your school district. 
I want to work for my school district so that I can give back to, in, to the students that are coming into the school and that I could have the opportunity to teach. I just want to have the same impact on them that my sixth grade math teacher did on me and influence them to uh, follow their dreams and you can do anything that you put your mind to.